echoes of the unseen. As days or perhaps weeks passed, the concept of time had become fluid for Alex. The hospital revealed its macabre purpose. Each desolate ward was a tableau of an unresolved case, a shadowy reflection of the victims whose stories were left untold, their final chapters unwritten by Alex's own failing. He came to realize that this was no mere mirror of the world he knew, but a purgatory for the lost and the forgotten. This revelation came with the discovery of the first ghost, a young girl, her spectral figure flickering in and out of existence in the pediatric ward. She was one of his cold cases, a life snuffed out too early, with no justice served. Through the echoes of her voice and the lingering presence of her final moments, Alex pieced together the truth of her untimely demise, setting her spirit free. With her release, the pediatric ward lit up briefly, the sound of children's laughter ringing down the halls before fading into silence once more. As he climbed the floors, the hospital grew more responsive. Rooms brightened with the resolution of each case, but the light was always transient, an ephemeral reminder of the world outside. It was on the fourth floor that Alex first encountered the other, the twisted reflection of himself. It had his eyes, his build, but there was a malevolence in its posture and a smirk that Alex himself would never wear. It spoke in riddles and paradoxes, leading him through the darkest corners of his own mind. With every encounter, Alex was forced to face a past case, a failure, a regret, and with each, he gained a clearer understanding of his own mistakes and misjudgments. The other mocked his efforts to solve the puzzles of this world, claiming that Alex sought redemption in a place beyond its reach. Yet, for every taunt, there was a hint, guiding him to re-examine the evidence he'd long since archived in his memory. But as he started to solve these cold cases, piecing together the broken narratives and quieting the restless spirits of the hospital, the shadowy figure began to resist. Alex would wake to find the resolved wards once again darkened, the records scattered and his progress undone. It was during these confrontations that the figure's true nature began to reveal itself. It was the embodiment of Alex's own subconscious fears, manifesting as the final unsolved case the one that had led to his current state. The shadow was a guardian of a truth so dark that its revelation was a threat to the very fabric of this liminal space. Despite the setbacks, Alex pressed on, driven by the need to reclaim his life, to drag himself back from the brink of oblivion. He reconstructed the narratives, remembered the faces and names, the evidence and the emotions, and with each realization, the hospital's darkened halls grew brighter, the air less oppressive, the shadows receding inch by reluctant inch. Through it all, the other remained, a spectre of the life he had lived and the cases he had left chained in silence. It was a dance with his own darkness, under the flickering lights of the hospital, where every step forward was a triumph over the echoes of the unseen. <laughs>